Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, it's been kind of an interesting day and it will continue to be interesting kind of watching these different areas of wet weather. It's not just a slam dunk. One thing's going to come through and get you uh, wet overnight tonight. Uh, we've got a couple or actually three different areas that we've been watching. The first area of storminess popped up this afternoon across mainly south central Missouri, north central Arkansas. That was some upper level energy passing by to the south, came with a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere. That activity has faded away. Now we're looking at storms which are developing west and northwest of St. Louis and and Notice how those storms are trying to build toward the southwest, a little counter to what you might expect. The reason is because we've got a lot of upper level, or not upper level energy, but a lot of instability in place across this area, and winds are coming in out of the west, so it wants to kind of feed in toward the higher instability and those winds. Also watching a third area of stormy weather across southeast Nebraska. That activity uh, being uh, kind of pushed along by some upper level energy, and I think these two different areas, the one to the northeast of Springfield and the one to the northwest of Springfield will converge later tonight. I mentioned the instability, the gasoline that helps to keep these storms going. Well, there's plenty of it on the map here across eastern Kansas and western Missouri. So these storms should continue well into the night tonight and into the morning hours on Thursday. I think our hour by hour forecast doing a pretty good job of showing how that's going to evolve. So our storms to the northeast building right now into Mary's County and Phelps County. That activity will continue to sort of bubble along, maybe build a bit further west and south with time. Then towards say three to five o'clock in the morning, storms sweep in out of the northwest and merge with that activity that's located between Springfield and uh, St. Louis. And as these area, this, these two different areas of storms merge, we get one big complex of thunderstorms, which will then build south toward northern Arkansas after sunrise on Thursday. I think here in Springfield, we're probably looking at a maybe a five to seven o'clock arrival time for that wet weather. And then that activity should push south into northern Arkansas by mid morning. There still could be some lingering showers and thunderstorms near and south of the state line, even at noon tomorrow. Uh, then after that, I think things go quiet and the clouds thin out and we find skies becoming mostly sunny. And I expect because of that morning rain for us to not really see anything during the afternoon. I also expect it to be a little bit cooler tomorrow than what we experienced today. Temperatures tomorrow morning also impacted by those rain chances, likely dropping temperatures into the low to mid 60s. Looks like about 64, 65 here in Springfield. Highs tomorrow impacted. Uh, looks like uh, mid 80s for highs, maybe around 84 to 85 for a high here in Springfield. And again, most of that rain chance is going to be during the morning hours, say the front end of the morning. In fact, uh, on Friday, we still have some ingredients on the map that could generate some pockets of showers and thunderstorms. But once we get into the weekend, high pressure upstairs really stifles those storm chances outside of some isolated activity Saturday afternoon. I think the weekend looks dry and it's going to be hot down to the south. Still watching tropical storm Cristobal. It is now uh, moved inland over the Yucatan winds a little bit weaker, but expected to reemerge over the coming days and then head north toward Louisiana late in the weekend into early next week. And because of how the pattern is set up across the country with a trough in the west and a ridge of high pressure in the east, uh, looks like that tropical weather will likely get funneled north over our area around Tuesday of next week. So a lot of different things happening uh, in the short term. A uh, chance for showers and thunderstorms through Friday. Isolated storms on uh, uh, Saturday. It will be hot. It looks like highs near 90 Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then watching for some tropical weather on Tuesday, followed by pleasant conditions on Wednesday. All right, just got to get through the storms. What's right. our viewers club number? Number nine, two, three, nine, 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 three, jackpot, $300. All right, Jamie, thanks still to come here at 10. The American entertainment industry